Hello and welcome to my lecture series on different radiological topics. Today's topic is on radiophysics that also is a simplified version of an extensive lecture covered somewhere else that can be found on my website or my YouTube channel. Now the topic today is CR radiography and I have made it a simplified version. So initially there is a disclaimer, please go through it. What it reads is most of the material is our own. However, some material we have downloaded from the net which is royalty free. We acknowledge with thanks from those who has got this material. Here we go to our main topic that is CR radiography. There are different choices for the radiography in conventional and radiography. One as you know is with a dark room, cassettes, hangers and second one is the uh, radiography done with the help of digital medias. Now the first is called as conventional radiography, the second is called as uh, digital radiography. In conventional we got either what I told you is the dark room technique or the second one is with the automatic processor. The automatic processor was increasing throughput of the department and was useful for a large department. Now, next today's topic is of digital imaging and that also of the computer radiography. There can be again two. One thing is CR that is computer radiography and another is called DR that is a direct radiography and we have got also indirect and direct radiographies. The direct are the DR and the indirect are the CR which we are going to see today. Now, what we have got here is the conversion of analog to digital. So, digital radiography what it does is it converts images from the analog to the digital version. Now, what are the advantages? It's economical, it's cost effective because cost of film and chemical and dark room was more with the conventional one. Number two, the uh, wastage that is the uh, technically if you go wrong in conventional, you have to repeat it. The film was going waste while here the repetition is uh, not a problem. It costs nothing. Now, there is also advantages with the data that is archival. Data archival documentation and storage space was also very much reduced in CR as compared to that of the conventional. Then it is communicable that is the electronic transmission. What we are nowadays doing is on teleradiography that images are sent from one center to another where the radiologist can be uh, viewing it, reporting it and sending it back to the uh, center. Now these are also tough and uh, they are consistent means they can produce a consistent quality as well as we can get a consistent quality of the machines and also the peripherals. Now flexibility is the post processing uh, component. It's possible with CR. Now there are also disadvantages as we said always advantages and disadvantages are there for all the modalities. Now infrastructure needs to be interfacing. That is you have to connect the monitor, you have to connect the digitalizer and also the storage devices to it. Now over interpretation mimics is something which we have to be very careful. There is an absolute good quality number one and the operator can give a different settings which may lead to over interpretation or uh, under interpretation. Both are possible if the operator gives image in wrong manner. Now we will come to the technique of computer radiography. It is a indirect digital. Then it has got a photo stimulator storage phosphor that is also called as imaging plate. This acquires the images. Then we got a CR reader and we have got digital electronic work station for display storage and if required for transmission of the image. Now direct and direct digital radiography that is DR and DDR. We are just going to have a brief idea about it. Detail of this is covered in some other lecture. It is a conversion of X-ray to direct digital signals. Now this has got a thin film transistors. They are consisting of amorphous cesium and cesium silicates. Now there is a total electronic capture of the images. We got a photon pixel display that is a stronger the photons stronger will be the display. Now let's go to the details of computer radiography that's here. It uses imaging plate containing photo stimulatable phosphorus. Now what is it? We are going to see very shortly. It can be stimulated by photons that is the X-ray rays and the proportion of the photon it receives are reflected in its return to a signal. So this image can be produced with the help of amount of photon that are hitting the imaging plate. Then 
it can use same radiography unit of what we are using for the conventional so there is no need to change the radiography unit which has got a control which has got a uh, which has got a table and which has got a uh, tube which can produce the x-rays this unit is kept same but it has got a need for a cassette reader that is it has got a uh, attachment where you have to put the cassette and it will read the cassette then image can be transferred through the packs so it is another advantage images are converted to the digital formation and there it can be transferred to any of the destiny when x-rays are absorbed by light is promptly emitted but much of the absorbed x-ray energy is trapped in psb screen and can be read out later so this is the basic principle what cr use now cr imaging plates are made up of barium fluorohalide so barium fluorohalide is the constituent of the imaging plate now what is cr read out processing steps these are after the cassette is exposed to the x-ray beam then the cassette is loaded to a reader reader removes the phosphor plate and exposes it to a laser stimulating or uh, it exposes a laser stimulation of the phosphorus the light emitted from plate is then collected quantified and digitalized after readout plate is erased and it can be used again for the another patient's radiograph that is due to a bright light now again we are coming at the reading imaging plate reader scans plate with a laser light using rotating mirror now this designing is different for the different companies film is pulled through the scanner by the roller the imaging plate by the scanner is pulled now light is given off and the plate measured by the photo simulator tube and recorded by a computer now reading imaging plate plate is phosphor stimulating phosphor that is a photo stimulating phosphor constitutes the imaging plate it is sensitive to light and it can emit light now radiation traps electron in higher energy state in this plate this higher state form image now reading imaging plate readers can plate with the laser then laser re release electrons trapped in the high energy state electron then fall into the low energy state by giving up energy as a visible light the light intensity measured by this uh, process is proportional to the radiation it receives now here we are seeing diagrammatically first we are seeing a excess system that is excess tube which is emitting x-rays then an object then there is a unexposed phosphor plate then it goes to the image reader then it goes to the image uh, scaling then image records and then we get a radiograph as desired by us now here what we are seeing is again same at a actual may add how it looks in the department first is x unit then what we are seeing is uh, film taken then uh, CR workstation again we are summarizing what we have already talked that is a phosphor plate cycle that is photo stimulating phosphor then it is attached or it is uh, layered over a base support then x-rays are exposed then plate exposed create latent image now what is latent image how it is created is extensively covered in some other topic it is extensive topic this is a simplified version of cr this lecture so then what happens is plate is read out and extract latent image is displayed on the monitor then again the plate is erased so that is the advantage of CR that same plate can be used again and again and there is no loss of data in all this process means more images you take the uh, the imaging plate do not get worn out because there is total clearing by the uh, digitalizer then comparison between CR and DR so today's technology is DR first we were at conventional then we went to CR and now we are going towards DR so let's know what are the advantages and disadvantages briefly because the topic DR is covered somewhere else now what is what is DR direct radiography it has got very high cost number two it is a retrofit then convenience is there for DR there is dark room chemicals are not required then there is a flexibility with it and let's come to CR it's of low cost because the machine remains same only thing we have to buy a imaging plate reader digitalizer and printer then that's why it is of low cost but it's slightly cumbersome because there are multiple steps but there is durability it is durable because there is less component involved then it has got a little bit more labor that is you need a technician you can you need to carry film you have need to put it in digitalizer you have to read it and then it will be displayed so this is all manual so we have tabulated position CR DR advantage of CR then DR, DR because 
you first position the patient and then you pull play it accordingly versus ndr it's a fix then replacement of fsr cr it is there dr it is not there the system cost is less with the cr more with the dr as on today but definitely i'm sure it will change within few days then patient throughput in dr you can marvelous it is a asset to any of the busy department where you got lot of patients and you can uh, do your turnover time as low patient can immediately go out so tad is less then ease of use you have to just ask patient to stand in front of you or give the position to the patient as per requirement it will take max compatibility is good with both but slightly better with dr in nutshell cr has got a profit advantages cost advantages and quality comparable then dr is superior quality and throughput is good then it is good for the very busy department you can have a very good patient throughput and turn on time of patient it will be reduced now in conclusion advantage of cr and dr again we are continuing with uh, cr has got greater image quality is with dr faster results are with dr both are acceptable with cr that not that they are really this thing uh, much comparable or much uh, substandard to the dr they are comparable they are fairly good quality the accurate detection of small lesion is possible with both the lesion they have made radiological diagnosis very precise they are economical now how they become economical economical is because they save your running the cost there is less chemical involved the film damage or uh, the repetition because the spill film is spoiled are less and by and large at the end of day you land with a better economy though initially you will have to spend for this cr cost then it is a it proves option for the dose reduction because it's a computerized detection so even whichever exposure you give little more or less will not make any difference because they can be compensated with the help of computer it is easy because it is a large storage space of data you can just keep on adding your capacity of a hard disk then possibility of wireless transfer of the data especially if your center doesn't have radiologist you can send it through packs to some other center that is teleradiography that also we had discussed somewhere else in detail results are very quick not like earlier days when you have to develop the film you have to keep it in a hardener you have to rinse it you have to wash it you have to dry it and then it was available for reading versus here it's instant with that we are coming to the end of this condensed version of uh, cr we have very briefly seen the topic i'm sure in case you feel a need to go in a more detail you will visit my website as well as my youtube channel to get it till then thank you goodbye and take care see you again in some lecture if you like definitely give us a like thank you take care